Hello, in this presentation, we are going to show how to create and use a UPT section in a tower. The user provided table or UPT allows you to create new entities which are not part of any catalog or database yet. So these new entities remain local to the current model. Say, when we change the section profile for the legs of panel one to a new split pipe section. Go to the library tab to open UPT UI. There are eight distinct parts of this UI, covering all possible functionalities. It could be related to section profile, material, or equipment on the tower, or even analysis and design properties like bolt material and size. For this demonstration, we'll create a new split pipe section. Choose a split pipe from the drop down list, click on add new section, input a unique name, say split pipe 1. All input fields with default values are already populated. These are parametric input. Click on calculate to calculate section properties like areas and moment of inertias. Click on apply to add this new section to the UPT table and then click on save. Now let's assign this new section to the tower. For simplicity, we'll assign this property to the leg members of the first panel. Go to the section detail page, double click on the first section. It will launch the section editor. Now double click on the leg section. Select UPT from the list of available catalogs. Select section type as speed pipe. Select the section, which is our newly created section, and click OK to confirm this section selection. Notice selection names for legs have already been updated. Click on the Save button of the section detail page. Now the base model is updated. Let's check if a profile assignment was successful. Zoom into the first panel and notice the new split pipe section. It is assigned to all three legs of the panel. To check the member properties, select physical member cursor and click on the member to see the properties. Similarly, you can create and use other UPT entities like discrete, linear appurtenances, new guide cable, etc. You will find this feature very useful. Thank you for watching.